Hi crafters, welcome back to my channel. This is Lillian. Um, thank you for stopping by. I'm gonna warn you, this might be a little long video. Um, I will be showing you, sharing with you, the 19 embellishments that I created. I know I went a little crazy, but I tend to do that, especially when I love um, how something turns out. So I will be showcasing different dies from the different uh, companies that I'm part of the design team. So like Coco and Reno, Buttons Galore and more, Scrap Diva, and I'm guest designing for KS Craft. So, um, so some of um, her dies. The main one um, that uh, makes up this embellishment is the Coco and Reno paper clip die um, and also KS Craft um, Easter banner. I think she, yeah, Easter banner. So, but I'll point out all the elements because I use for my stash, what I created, um, and just, and then I'll list them all. So, and if you have any questions, of course, you can always ask me, but let's go ahead in no random order. Let's go ahead and start with this one, which I just love the way it turned out. Um, so they will all have the, I made them with the Coco and Reno paper clip. It's an assortment of paper clips, but I decided to go with this one. <clears throat> I wanted to do these embellishments also to add for my scrapbooks. Um, so I did make some chunky, but some not too chunky. So this is perfect to add to my scrapbooks. And then of course, all of them, um, the paper clip I glue to the KS Craft Easter banner. I don't know if you see it here, but once I get one that I did in paper, I'm sure you guys will recognize it. So this one's an acetate and it's a shaker. So the sequence mix that I used is from Buttons Galore and more. It's their lilac sequence. It's so pretty. It uh, It's this combination of lilac and the blues and I love it. I don't think I could shake it very much, but these are their flat box um, that I got from the spring box from Buttons Galore and more. Look at how beautiful they are. Can you see that? I don't have any more. I've used them all in different embellishments, which I'm like, boo, but gorgeous. Look at it. It has these little gold sprinkles on it. Uh, they're beautiful. So they were a perfect match for this one. And then in my stash, I had this um, umbrella uh, ephemera. So I glued it down. This little bow is made by me, inspired by Shara Crane. And then, of course, these are my favorite um, daisy, mini daisy. It's a little punch. And so I added these flowers on the umbrella and then added this small little sentiment. And look at how cute. Also to point out the paper, the glitter, and I'll point out because some of the papers, so beautiful. Um, and I've posted this before, but like this glitter paper here, this is from the subscription box number one from Your Paper Insider. Um, they have such unique papers that I hate cutting into them, but but you have to because they're so pretty. So... So uh, remember to, um, I want you to tell me which one's your favorite one. I have several favorite ones. They're all cute, but I definitely do have favorite ones. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Here, I'll grab the other butterfly. So here's this one. And I started uh, die cutting the paper clip in gold, but I was like, uh, no, let's cut it. Um, to match, you know, the color to match the banner, which I was like, um, once I start showing all of them, you're going to notice this, this definitely changes color. So the paper, this paper is from your paper insider and it's that Japanese paper I had posted about. It's almost like rice paper. So it's very, very delicate. Um, very, very, um, very thin. And so to make it sturdy, for this banner, I cut out an acetate piece and I backed it. I didn't want to do a color paper because I really wanted to keep, 
you know, because it would change the color because it's almost see-through, almost like vellum. So I did an acetate to give it that sturdiness. So here's one of those flat backs from Buttons Galore and More Spring Box. Look at how pretty that is. And then I added this little sentiment. This is my favorite flower from Scrap Divas. And this is the Edge Flower. Super cute. And then these little flowers come in um, the Easter Memory Decks from KS Craft. I, I cut this out so much because look at how cute that little flower is. Like I love my Daisy Punch, but this is definitely um, in within reach here in my desk because it, you're going to be seeing it a lot in my um in my projects and I always get asked you know where did I get these little centerpieces and I got them on Timu they're my favorite they're so pretty okay I better move on or else this is going to be a really long video so here's here's one of my first ones where I did the paper clip in gold. And just so you know, I did um, I did punch two paper clips and glued them together just to make them a little bit sturdier, especially when the paper was a little bit thin. But if you used you know a, a thick cardstock, you don't need to do that. Um, but here I use this Hoppy Easter sentiment from KS Craft. Here's my edge flower from Scrap Diva, just with a little different centerpiece. Um, one of my puffy stickers. It's a little rabbit. I don't know if you can see that. And then these cute little buttons are from Buttons Galore and More. Look at that little embossing that it has. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. And then here's another one. So there's that. Japanese paper. Look at how gorgeous that is. And again, I backed it up with the acetate. But this is easy. I think this is one of my flattest, <laughs> my flattest one. Um, I added these flowers that I had, little puffy sticker, little sentiment. And then I added the, these are from Pink Fresh. These, um, these little jummies, they're so pretty. I'm sure you guys have seen them out there a lot. And then I did leave these puffy hearts. And that's it. That's all I needed. Super cute. Okay, here's one of my Valentine ones. See the paper clip in this blue, blue teal? Because I love this color combination. So, and I love this little flaggy. On some of them, I don't know if you noticed, um, like on some of them, I left the little banner here. Um, you know, the tie, I guess that's what they are. And then on some, I cut them off. Where is it? Have I showed that? Yes. Like on this one, I cut them off or I fold them over or I cut them off. Um, I think they both look good. I think I did half and half, or I think most of them I left a little. I think it's, it looks cute. I don't think it takes away from it. Um, at least I don't think so. But um, so I did a little puffy stickers here. If you don't recognize them, these are from Doodlebug. Here is my Scrap Diva Edge Flower. And it looks smaller because I only did the small um, piece of the flower. I didn't do the larger one. So... Um, and it looks so cute. I love the little baby one. And there's my favorite um, Daisy Punch. This is also from Scrap Diva. But look at how cute that is. It's my favorite. Okay, this is an Easter inspired one. And I mean, the banner isn't that big, so it's a quick embellishment. Again, I use that Hoppy Easter from KS Craft, and look at this. How adorable is he? So this is from Buttons Galore and More, the basket and the bunny. <laughs> and I just hot glued him behind the basket and I added this little jemmy. <laughs> He's so cute. And of course I had to add a flower because I love flowers. And then I have been posting this color combo. I love 
this yellow gold baby blue combo. I think I posted my Easter uh, bag and a memory decks and I just, and I think I also did some tags um, and I just love this combination. It's beautiful. So um, from that paper collection, I did this flower. Look at the little jemmy, it's so perfect. And then I added baby blue flowers and I had this puffy sticker. I believe both of the puffy stickers are from the parasol collection for Maggie Holmes. And then I had um, this little sentiment, which I backed it, matted it in blue just to bring that out more. I could add some jemmies, but I didn't. But look at how cute that is. And then with these, I added these new jemmies that I got from um, Sparkling Gems. Sparkle Gems. I just got some new ones from her. Um, and they're beautiful. I'll make sure to write down her name and her Instagram account. I, I probably have it wrong, but... Um, yeah, I was playing with those jemmies. Okay, let me move on. All right, look at this yellow one. So pretty. You know, I love when I add the stickers with flowers, I like to add 3D flowers on top of that. So that's what I did here. This is that, um, like that rice paper from your paper insider. Can you see the shimmy on that? So pretty. And then these itty bitty little butterflies right here, right there, right there. <laughs> I uh, I was uh, die cutting a die that these are the negatives. So it's a circle and it punches out butterflies. And I was like, I can't throw these little butterflies out. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> I know I have an issue with scraps, but look at I used them here. And look at how perfect they went. Who else does that? Anybody else does that? I mean, you know, whatever is left over that I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'll throw them away, but it's kind of hard to. All right. Um, I love this color combination. Hot pink paper clip. I added a little bow. I have a whole bunch of these little bows. Um, and then I added a little flower. This size flower is 3 8 while this one is 5 8 I get that question a lot. But it just added some little puffy stickers, a cluster of flowers to match the color combo, and that was it. Look at how cute that is. Super, super cute. The Valentine's one are definitely my favorite. I mean, they're all my favorite, but I was really having fun with the Valentine one. I did a red paper clip. Um... But I love the combo of red, pink, um, and then the light blue, which this paper is so pretty. So this little flowers, it has, you know, a little bit of the red, a little bit of the black. I put red jemmies in that. I added this flower, which is made by that, that Japanese paper. Look at how gorgeous that is from your paper insider. It's box number one. And then I added this little sentiment, which I think the black went well because it kind of tied in with this little bit of black here. And then I added these jemmies. These are my favorite. I got these as part of the swap and, oh, I love them. So cute. Super cute. Okay, see, random order. We're going back to Easter. Look at how cute. Paper clip is in a light pink. The glitter paper is from your paper insider. And then I'll like, use these little bunny feet. And then this little guy here is from the Buttons Galore and More spring box. This is a flower I had in my stash, but, and I added a little sentiment. See, and there's those little jemmies again that I love. I love, love, love. Super cute. Not too chunky. This is definitely my favorite. I love this one. I think it's just the all soft pink because I did the paper clip in a soft pink. 
and then the paper is it's just soft even though this is a pattern paper but it just I love it it's the light pink uh, heart jemmies I added here the Eiffel Tower is a puffy sticker and it is from Doodlebug and then my pink flowers and then I had this heart I got these in a swap um, and look at how perfect I just love this is definitely one of my favorites if not the favorite what do you think super cute super super cute here's another acetate one that I did um, the the mix is from buttons galore and more with their Easter one there's some Easter heads in there, but my flowers covered it. Um, these are from, these are for me, Cricut Design Space, that I cut these out. I tend to use these in spring. You'll be seeing these a lot. And then this little guy is from the spring box from Buttons Galore and more. And then I added a little sentiment and these green sparklets that came in the Buttons Galore box as well. How cute is that? I love the color combo. Super cute. This is another one of my favorites. It's just so striking. I think with the red, I did the gold paper clip, glitter gold. These little puffy hearts, glittery puffy hearts, they were given to me by Melissa in a swap from last year. And I love them. Um, she gave me a few of them, quite a few, and I just want to know, where did you get them? Is there more colors? Because they're just perfect. This is a flower dye that I bought on Amazon. And then I had this little ephemera that I added that sentiment. And these are one of my favorites ever since I got them from Buttons Galore and more. This was last box that I received. I love them. There are... I keep them at hand reach. My favorite. These are all the big ones. I need to get some mini ones. Mini and medium size ones. But they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. But yes, this is definitely one of my favorites as well. Okay, here's another Easter inspired one with that, that paper. That really pretty your paper insider paper. And then here's those butterflies <laughs> that I didn't throw away, the negatives. Look at how perfect they are here, right? They're teeny, 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 but they're perfect. I love the little bunny feet, the little flower. This is another Jemmy that I got from Timu. They have them on all different colors. I love them. But look at how cute that is. Cute, cute, cute. And then here's another Valentine. I love this color combo. Some of you guys, I see some of your embellishment with this color combo. I love this as well. I use this pink with this light teal. And then I added this little pink envelope. I added this little note where I put these jemmies and this tiny, tiny sentiment. And then my daisy flowers. And then the XO are the negatives from Scrap Diva's XO Shaker. That, of course, um, I'm not going to throw away. Because they could be used as embellishments, as you see here. Yeah, I like this one, too. I, I love the color combo. And then this is one of the first ones that I did. Here's the gold paper clip from Coco and Reno. And then the hoppy Easter, the little feet, and then the flowers. I love these, this color. The jemmies are from Buttons Galore and more. And look at how perfect it matched. So, of course, I had to add them. Super cute. Super, super cute. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. In this one, I love this paper. I had this sticker. 
And then I added these flowers, but then I had to add these, um, these buttons from Buttons Galore and more. Because look at how perfect. They're so cute. And then I added these little puffy stickers. And again, these jemmies on the flowers are from um, Sparkling Gems. I'm telling you, I think I have the name wrong, but I will list her because I just got them and I love them. I'm going to order some more. But look at how cute that is. And then our last one is this one. So more on the springy side, really. So I did the paper clip this color so it'll match the paper I used. I had this little bow, my daisy flowers, a puffy sticker. I believe these are from uh, the Parasol collection from Maggie Holmes. And then there's um, those favorite jemmies of mine, which is baby jemmies as these jemmies. And they are my favorite. Yes, so 19 of them. Tell me what you think. Which one is your favorite one? I know it was a long video, but thank you for, if you're still with me, thank you for staying with me. I will um, list everything that I use. Um, and of course, if you have a question, reach out to me. But I had so much fun. Um, if you don't have some of these elements or dyes, definitely a part of should be part of your stash. This is um this is definitely at arm's reach for me because look at how cute they are and so easy to put together. So anyways, thanks for stopping by and watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.